Hello, and in this screencast for Apache ISIS, I want to show you a different way of doing action parameter validation. So at the moment, we have a rule on this uh, method that if we have a name, we can have no exclamation marks in that name. Um, so that's grand. Uh, the way in which that is implemented is with the supporting method, validate zero, that calls off to some helper method. Um, but what we can do instead of that is we can add a parameter annotation that will specify that the name must satisfy some specification. So I'm going to write has name dot uh, uh, name specification, I suppose, would be the thing to write. Um, we'll create a new class there. And um, this class then must implement a certain interface. So let me just see if I can figure out. This will not be needed anymore. But then this guy here, he implements an interface defined by the uh, Apache ISIS uh, in applib, I'm trying to say here, which basically says give me a string or an object and I'll check it's valid. So we know that's going to be a string because it's associated with a string parameter. So the first thing to do will be just to uh, cast object to be a string. And then I can take the code I just uh, well I have above actually and I just really want to say return uh, validation rules dot reason if invalid name so that's the code that public's not needed because we're within an interface so just to recap we've basically got this um, must satisfy this specification and this specification says it must basically meet this rule here so let's try out the code okay that's the app running let's uh, give it a go so create and bar with some exclamation marks and as we hope for that's still invalid okay so there you are that's a different way of uh, validating parameters give it a go and try it out